Hey there! In this video I will show you how to make a cylinder guide sleeve for your VSR-10. It's a simple modification that can give you a smoother bolt pull. Depending on your model and parts combinations, you may have some cylinder play like this. This movement can cause a scratchy bolt pull. It could also be the reason your cylinder head or nozzle drags on the chamber, leaving marks like this. VSR-10s usually come with factory guide rings, but they don't always get the job done. So I will show you how to make a full length sleeve like this. Here's what you need for this project. A section of thin polycarbonate tube. I'll go over the spec shortly. Some scissors or shears. Maybe some electrical tape and some lubricant. The tubing I use in this video is made of polycarbonate. It's pretty much a fancy plastic. I found some polycarbonate tubing online that is used to store light bulbs. There are some links below. The size in the description said 1.1 inches. I recommend getting that, you can work with it. To get started, you want to cut two pieces of the tube to the proper length. They need to be just under 4.5 inches. Hold the tubing against your outer barrel like this. From the bottom of the hop window to the end of the outer barrel is the length you want. Just a rough cut is fine for now. If it launches across the room, go pick it up. You'll notice that this size doesn't fit into the barrel. So cut a slit down of each of the tubes so it's more flexible. Slide it in the barrel so it's against the hop-up chamber. If it sticks out, you can unroll it on an edge, then cut it down. Do this for both pieces. I try to make them sit flush. They don't have to be perfect, and they don't have to be exactly the same, just make them as similar as possible. It's best to cut a section out of each tube like this, so that way they are no longer complete cylinders. Then the BB misfeed hole in the outer barrel won't be blocked. Now, slide your tubes together and insert them into the outer barrel. Line up the gap with the misfeed hole as I have done here. That's it really, just add some lubrication. White Lithium Grease or Tech-T work great. I won't get into a lubrication debate. Use whatever you want. I like Tech-T. A little bit goes a long way, so just add some to the outside of the cylinder, maybe a little into the inside of the sleeve. Put your rifle together and verify that it operates smoothly. For most VSR-10s, two of these polycarbonate sleeves work great. Tolerances can vary though, depending on the material, receiver, cylinder, and outer barrel. However, you can experiment with different tubing and fitment. Here is another method. Cut your tube length, cut one slit in it like this. Put it over your cylinder and hold it snug. Not too tight, make sure it can still slide. Then gently wrap electrical tape around it to hold its diameter. Add more layers of tape until it fits snug into the outer barrel. Then add lubrication and make sure everything works smoothly. Either one of these methods will work. Other materials will also work. If you try something different, you can use this guide as a baseline. The goal is to make the tolerances tighter to eliminate some of the cylinder play, but still have a smooth operation. That wraps up this video guide. I hope you found it helpful. Check out some of my other VSR10 content on my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Okay, alright.